we present all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have to step up for the past when it's calling Once the world is stopped ain't nobody gonna stop us People everybody would you listen to us for a start No boy complaining and that's we partaking We represent the fall Previously on Dallas. Brady and I arrived back to Dallas to join the rest of the crew, along with my sister, Bubs. Now with a family of seven, we headed to the stores in the duty-free island of Langkawi, Malaysia, to provision for our long journey across the Indian Ocean. We also get a rig inspection and do a quick fuel run before sailing out of Malaysia. Bye bye Malaysia! And... <laughs> Hello Thailand! <laughs> Hello Thailand! Cheap massages, foot scrubs and... Hey tie. sweet life! Ping pong show. Are we going to a ping pong show? You hear that? We're going to a ping pong show. <laughs> It felt pretty unreal. We had only flown in about a week earlier, and here we were, finally all together, stocked up and at the beginning of this wild season, heading out on our first sail. Do you reckon I could have a turn as well? Or maybe another time? That's your time. Really good. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> you always feel, feel like, like a, a bit of a gunny. I feel like a retard always. Getting the sails up and seeing our Buddha man come out and fly for the first time was an awesome feeling. Bloody massive! Right. Man flies. Well, our ML logo came off on the main the first time putting it up. So we got to go up before we get around this point and the wind picks up. We got to take, pull it out, pull the sticker out. It's kind of shit. I'm just gonna cut it, bro. <clears throat> Even though we had little wind, with the new sails, we were comfortable and moving a steady six knots. Hello, cruising. In the short space of a few hours, we had sailed out of Malaysian waters and were officially in Thailand. Our first stop was a small island called Kochuko, aka Lover's Hold. What are you at now? Yeah, that's funny. Welcome to Thailand. How's it feel? It feels good. We're out, we're cruising, we're in Thailand. Uh, nice. Malaysia. How long was the sail? Like three hours? Yeah, not so far, like three hours, but it was a nice sail. Yeah. First, we're gonna go to the island and just have a swim, chill out, and I think we're gonna have a barbecue tonight. Nice. So, anyways, what are you guys doing? 
Fruit basket. Obviously. Radio is showing you a fruit basket. You look like a bunch of Malaysian fishermen trying to fix your net. What do you think, Brad? It's hot, bro. I need more water. Yeah. I guess time for a swim. Yeah. Amateur newbie move. Bubs forgot to put sunblock on her legs. Checking into Thailand is pretty laid back, which gave us some leeway to cruise the islands before checking into Phuket. It was pretty sweet. My first encounter with Thailand was swimming in from the water onto a golden sand beach. This sweet little walkthrough cave is Lover's Hole, and it was said if you walked through with someone, you would have eternal love. After a few beers in the sunshine, out came the drone, and Brian gave us newbies a bit of a lesson. See the concentration. Karen always makes fun of me for the look I get. She calls it my drone flying face, and now you get one too. After watching each other's drone flying faces, we decided to test our skills to see what kind of sailing shots we could get. And it was the perfect background, and the perfect end to a perfect day. Two weeks before Max arrived to Delos, he was diagnosed with dengue fever and salmonella. Now his fever was coming back, which started to worry us a bit. The fever is going down a bit, so I'm feeling a little bit better now. But I'm going to try to call the clinic that we went to in uh, Mankawi and see if, because um, the doctor said if you have any problems, just give us a call. So I might call him and ask, um, like, if this could be like dengue after effects. Yeah. So we've decided to leave and go to the nearest clinic, which we think is in Colipe. And it's a short, it's like 11 miles, so we should be able to be there in a couple of hours. And we'll get it sorted out, but they've also got like Thai food and massages there, so it's a win-win, I think. find a clinic for Max and yeah. check out what's going on. You can say hi, Sawadika. Hi, Sawadika. And thank you as Kapunka. Kapunka. Do you actually say hi, Sawadika, or does that just mean hi? Sawadika. Oh, Sawadika. And the longer they go, Sawadika, means the nicest, like they're being polite, and it means that they like you. Sawadika. <laughs> As soon as we dropped the anchor, 
Brady took Max and Frida to shore to try and find a clinic. It's always a bit scary getting sick in a foreign country. We were lucky to be close to an island that actually had some sort of clinic though. Hi, sorry. Uh, do you know where we can find a doctor? On the right hand side? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so we found this clinic here, Siam Clinic in. Where are we? Kolipe. Yeah, so we're gonna see a doctor now. I got to Dengue in Bali, and now, like, this is two weeks ago, I was in Bali. I uh, am starting to feel, I have a fever for two days now oh. and, I, uh, and I have pains all over. And I think I have a urinary infection as well because it hurts when I pee, you know. Okay. Yeah. Just breathe. Yeah. It might be. Yeah, UTI. So, is it pain? No. 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 I'm not going to think if you were one. There, there is no effect after you no. got infections. You mean like when you, when you get over dengue infection, you yeah. don't get any fever. Yeah. So if, if they tested for it in Malaysia, I wonder if they tested for it's, only one type or uh, it's all for one all, type. All yeah. type. So you like if you infected by the first dengue, yeah. and the second time, like one week later, you can get infected by another type yeah. of dengue. Right. It's, it's, it's different from from the first. Yeah. One. Yeah. Well, can you treat for your name? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. what I'm saying is like, oh, I will give you an antibiotics yeah. for your for your UTI. Yeah. It's one time a day. How many days? It should be seven days. Because I can't do that for seven days. Because I'm leaving tomorrow. I can We're inject you. We're heading to where? To Bhutan? To Phuket? We're heading towards. Yeah, eventually, <laughs> eventually Phuket. to Phuket. We are on a sailing boat. Well, we're traveling by sailing boat. Is it possible to get pills instead? Boat? By yacht. Oh, okay. Sure. It has to be. It has to be. Okay. Can we get pills instead? <laughs> Medicine? <laughs> so at least inject it today. Okay. okay. Is it is well, it just it is it just an injection or is it in the vein? It's vein. Oh, okay. So I won't do that. Okay. I'll give you an injection. <laughs> okay. I've had a good trip so far. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the four, uh, maybe blood test number 40 on this. On this train? Yeah. <laughs> In Bali, they had like every 12 hour they came changing nurses and nurses blood test in the middle of the night. Yeah. You spent more time in hospitals than on Delos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Salmonella, dengue, and urinary infection. Like to sum it up. And that's been like a month. Yeah. Yeah. Nice blanket and everything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look away. Can so. Yeah, hand, man, please. that's all good. Can't be your hand, please. Oh, yeah. Hand into a fist? Yeah. It's okay, you can watch it later. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, now the easy part. You're gonna take all of that really good liquid into your body and it's gonna kill all the bacteria. Oh, I got a that one as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. shit. It's back. I thought it was just, oh shit, I thought it was just a blood test. He normally said that the women are more gentle than the men. Yeah. Because we, he had a lot of blood tests in Bali and but whenever a male nurse would come in, they're a bit more rough. Yeah, and it hurts. And but women when, are more gentle. When a lady does it, it's better. <laughs> They have better hands. <laughs> yeah, I'm on IV. And there's my antibiotics in there. I'm not sure what. And I'm getting some Kipro as well, some tablets. So yeah, it's good. It's good. Feeling better better already. <laughs> While Max was getting his IV fluids and antibiotics, the rest of us did a bit of a dinghy cruise to come in for a bit of exploring. This was my first Thai town, and I was excited to check it out. 
These are called long tail boats, used by the local fishermen, but mostly to zip all the tourists around. <laughs> a tight squeeze right there. Kolipe is a small and cute little tourist town with bars, restaurants and lounges lining the beach. Down the cosy main street, you'll find more restaurants, extremely cheap massages and local arts and crafts. After some street food and open window shopping, we went in for the grand event of our first Thai massage. And we hit the jackpot, only five bucks for an hour long massage. How was your massage, Rita? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Nice? Yeah, I feel relaxed. What'd you get, oil? Not oral? <laughs> oral massage? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I got the um, neck and shoulders. But he had really magic hands. At one point, he sort of lifted my head up and put, he tried two different pillows and he was laughing throughout the whole massage. And then he put me down, he just went under here. I was like, oh yeah, that's the, that's it. And he just went for it. I was like, yeah, you can stay there for another couple of minutes. <laughs> You're used to him, you've I been here like for long enough. Totally. They've never gone that deep though. Like a deep yeah. tissue? I think it's time for a couple of beers and then maybe a foot massage. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, it sounds yeah, really sure. good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. Got an oil massage. Almost fell asleep. You got oral too, huh? Yep. Oh, yeah, it was real good. Yeah. She put her elbows in my hips and I was like, ooh. And she was like, so neat. <laughs> yeah, it was the best massage I ever had, except you got the, Yosha got the uh, ladyboy. I finally got a massage without getting the ladyboy. <laughs> What? Yeah, I want to buy that. Mm. Massaged out and nearly falling asleep, we decided to take our dinghy back home and nestle into our bunks for the night, although the night was still in full swing. Back on Delos and not long into the night, we were woken up by a couple of nasty squalls that rolled through the harbour. Where's the big spot right? What do we got, bro? We gotta f light them up. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> the squalls come in! <laughs> we're in Kolipa Island and the wind is picked up. Shining lights at them and air horning them. <laughs> uh, before they hit us. It seemed our plan had worked. The people on board were up and seemed to be figuring out the situation. When you yell at them, they're dragging, Brian. You yell, you're dragging! No, you're dragging! Was oh, that a butt? You see a butt? Oh my god, he's naked! <laughs> I think they're all naked. Oh no. Oh no. No, he's very undies. You just can't see it in the night, but just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to have it up. Yeah. I don't know, man. All these people are driving around. Nobody's resetting their hook. And this guy. Like, that guy off our starboard, he... He's just driving. And you see where those yellow lights are over here? The whole team, like a boatload of people with flashlights that came and got onto that thing, whatever that is. We genuinely can't sleep very well when big squalls like this hit us, especially in an anchorage packed with charter boats and inexperienced sailors. Yeah, they kind of motored like. They motored that way, but then we swung around this way. Yeah. I hope they don't set their hook there. It's a scary thought knowing your home can be hit in the middle of the night, or drag away and end up on the reef, or destroyed on the rocks. The squall had picked up a lot of swell, so by morning we were just waiting for the boys to return from shore so we could pick up the anchor and move on. Yeah, it's been really bad. The anchorage here was shit. Um, we, had, we had to come here because Max had to get to the hospital, otherwise I don't think we would have come here. Um, so it's been a really bad night. Like, 
like I don't think anyone slept at all. Like I haven't slept at all. I've been awake the whole night. The boat just been going like this. Um, so the other guys, Brian, Max, and Brady, just went with the dinghy in to take Max and his urinary sample <laughs> to the hospital, and we're just sort of staying here, hanging out. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really tired and just sort of fingers crossed the sea is just gonna calm down now. And how about that catamaran in the middle of the night that nearly, like, it was going towards us? <laughs> Blinking flashlight, like, wake up and all the sounds and everything. I was like, what the f going on? I just heard Brian screaming, like, Brady, get up here. And I'm like, f what's going on? Ugh, <laughs> oh, such a bad night. How are you gonna come in? Go for it. Yeah. That's the best way, isn't it? Luckily, it wasn't another case of dengue. So, armed with his antibiotics for his UTI and some Thai pancakes, we were out of there. So, how was that ride? It was good. Was it? Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. Pretty, pretty sweet. We found the pass pretty easily. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's good. All right. That was one of the worst. Let's get rolling. Well, that is nights we've ever had. It's well, it's not good you guys like see that. the shitty part because yeah. then you'll really appreciate the goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get a whole lot worse than that. No. Unless that's we... good. That's good to know, for you know. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to jump on a plane. <laughs> 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 This I'm out of here. <laughs> Hearing the helicopter coming. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. <laughs> we were sailing towards the magical island of Komok, but it was a little further than a day sail away. So we pulled into this little anchorage to get some well needed sleep for the night. Where are we, brother? Ah, Kokwang. Kokwang. Um. Yeah, we just made it here just before sunset after our shit night last night in Colipe and we're just dropping the hook in five meters of water and it's still dragging with 40 meters of chain out so we're gonna move and try another spot and hopefully it grabs something because the bottom is a shit <laughs> it's probably like that much sand with rock layer or something Anchoring is something we're always pretty conservative about. So wind or no wind, after dropping the anchor, we always back down at it up to 1500 RPM. This way we're always sure that we're set. Show me that concentration face. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, 38 meters! Stretching out! That's 15. Yeah, we hooked right there. Okay, snub it up. I think we should be aware though, in the night, if it's any, if the wind comes up or if anything, we have to like. Because it, it's set, but it's still, you know? Much too soon. Morning came and it was a new day. Yosharama's so Instagram. Instagramming. Yeah. And Facebook are fine. Yeah, trying to share this video of. And you sales, that little video of the drone. Oh, I see. But I see. the internet is not really cooperating. <laughs> what are you doing, Briel? Videoing everybody working. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike. Look at that bar. It's never been that small before in the inbox. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> what are you doing, Kaza? Video making time. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of footage. And uh, I'm just thinking about how to put it all together in mm -hmm. a good way. I like it. All right, look at everybody. <laughs> it's computer day. <laughs> I know. What are you guys doing? I'm writing my first blog post. Huh? So I'm trying to not write like write too of a long post, and then I can 
No. Maybe you should just look deep into the camera and read it. And do <laughs> With a, a sexy voice yeah, and people will be like... A video yeah. log. I want your best <laughs> Swedish accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my name is Frida from Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm writing some stuff for my website. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Work, but in a different manner. Yeah, exactly. So I have some content to I have to push out. And uh, yeah. It's a good place to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. all I think we all sort of this morning people woke up, it's been silence. What was that? And just working. just been working. Yeah. And now it's two o'clock and it's it's lunchtime I think. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get going pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sweet. We were continuing our sail towards the magical island of Komok. Is there any wind out there, Yash? Um, there's about 10 knots. Good. Yum! Are we okay? So, what's going on? I forgot it was my day to cook. So I'm throwing together a fruit salad some leftovers from last night and we are moving to Komok Island. That watermelon looks good. How's it going Brian? We're sailing downwind. It's nice. awesome. Buddha man's flying. And the boat is cruising and lunch is almost ready. Yeah. Life is a party, life is a party, life is a party on the Dallas cruise, on the Dallas cruise, on the Dallas cruise. <laughs> Up next, we continue our island hopping in Pad Thai Paradise. Visit the mysterious cave and go on a Delos mission to find the beach. They light up when they're agitated. Come! Sweden and I just forgot what to say again. Don't! Why are you filming me? What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what brought you to Dallas? Um, I know my girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, wait, can we take that again? Yeah. Because I shouldn't say my girlfriend brought me here because that's not it. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Um, I'll, cl I'll close it. Okay. okay. Thank you Sorry. Let this boat go by. You have to tell me if I'm licking my lips a bit. I don't know why I'm doing that. 